Hi there. Welcome to the third part in my tutorial about um, dimensioning simple parts. So um, we have already completed two sheets in our in our drawing. So the first sheet, if you recall correctly, was part A. The second sheet, and I'm just looking at these by double clicking on the little picture next to the sheet, is part B. Um, and now I want to add part C. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit new sheet and I'm going to type my name. And I'm going to call this part C. Now the thing about part C, if you remember when we when we did this, um, our dimensions were all done in millimeters. This is done with the millimeter template. So if I was to just go ahead and start dropping things in and annotating, it would give me those things in inches, which is not super helpful because that's not how it was designed and you'd get some pretty strange looking numbers. Um, it wouldn't be wrong, but it wouldn't be helpful. So one of the things um, that I have to do is I have to go to Tools and Document Settings. And this will change the document f just for this um, drawing. So from this point forward, the annotations that I make, I want to change from default standard ANSI to default standard ANSI millimeters. Um, that just means that it will now dimension in millimeters. Now you can see as I go back through this, it hasn't changed anything on my other drawings. And it won't unless I force it to. So we're going to, but from this point forward now, everything we do will be shown in millimeters. So I'm going to now, I'm ready now to place part C. So I'm going to click base and there's part C. It actually just popped up. Um, if you have a part open or if you recently saved one, it will often appear here. Otherwise you would have to make sure that you looked for it and make sure that you are in your drive, your IED folder, your activity 4.0 folder. There's part C. Um, so I'm going to hit cancel because there it is. That's the right one. <clears throat> and again, um, it'll place the front view to start with. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to scooch this guy down into the corner. Um, and then I am going to double click on the little red box, add the top projection, add the side projection, and add the isometric view. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to move some stuff around. We'll move the isometric view over a little bit. Um, that looks good. And then I'm going to double click on this box so that I get a nice shaded isometric view. And now it's just one more um, set of annotations. Again, I like to use the baseline. So on my front view, I'm going to start with all of the important vertical lines. One of the neat things, though, here is that if I select um, a horizontal line in my set of vertical lines, so if I clicked on this and I clicked on either this or this, um, so I'm going to click here first and then here and then here. Now when I go to right click continue and I drag up, you will notice it actually, when, by selecting that little horizontal line before the slant, um, it actually then showed me the distance between my baseline and where that thing is. So I'm able to see, and so I click, I click to place them, and then I right click, click to create them. So this 10 millimeters is the 10 millimeters. Sorry, I'm looking at it this way. Is this 10 millimeters right there? Um, this 15 millimeters is the 15 millimeter thickness of this thing that juts out. And 40 millimeters is how wide it is from here to here. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do another set of baselines and make sure that I get everything now that is horizontal. So this will be my baseline where I'm starting. Um, and I'm going to again click here. I want to make sure I get this line in there because I want to... It, I want people to know where this slant stops and then don't forget this guy as well and then you can right click continue drag over um, so it's putting my number sideways and I'm fine with that I think it just does it to um, make things fit on the page better um, but it looks fine and then I've clicked I'm going to right click and I'm going to create them so I have now 
pretty much covered a whole bunch of this um, drawing. I now know how wide this is. I know how far it is from here to here. I know how far it is from here to here. I know how tall it is from here to here. So really the only features I don't know are the ones that jut outward. So I don't know how thick this is. I don't know how thick these things are. Um, and so I'll have to add those in the next view here. I'm going to scooch this guy up a little bit to give me some room. I am going to do some baseline. And again, I'm going to start with the... I don't need the vertical lines in this because I already have them down here. These, if I was to click on this, this, and this, would give me the same dimensions that are down here, and we never want to repeat dimensions. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to right-click to continue. Drag them sideways right click create and since this guy's off the screen a little bit I'm gonna scooch this down so that it fits there and one more time I can see that there is nothing on the front view that is not already been covered by I'm sorry this is the side view there's nothing that I need to dimension on the side view that has not already been dimensioned elsewhere so I don't actually need to do any more dimensioning um, and these dimensions are in millimeters, which is what they're supposed to be in. Um, and so I'm going to make sure that I hit save up here. It's going to save my drawings. And I now have a portfolio of correctly dimensioned drawings for all of my parts. Thanks so much.